We're going to start here, though, with Amanda Knox stepping forward overnight to react to the verdict she's been waiting for for a long time. The top criminal court in Italy overturning her murder conviction. It has been eight years of ups and downs for Knox, who's now been convicted and acquitted of murdering her roommate twice. For the very latest on the case, here's ABC's Neil Karlinski. Overnight, Amanda Knox, emotional, at home with her family, and thankful to be free. I'm incredibly grateful for what has happened, for the justice I've received, for the support that I've had from everyone. I'm so grateful to have my life back. Her family celebrating after the verdict, never imagining it would go their way so dramatically. What comes to mind is my, my gratitude for for the life that's been given to me. In Rome, her Italian lawyer was overjoyed. Finally, the mistake has been amended, and uh, it's a victory of the justice. It's been a legal drama with more twists than a Hollywood movie. Branded Foxy Noxy, the Seattle college student, was thrust onto the world stage, accused of brutally murdering her college roommate, Meredith Kircher, in Perugia, Italy, in 2007. Two years later, she was convicted of murder along with her former boyfriend, Raffaele Selecito. But in 2011, a stunning reversal. The conviction overturned. Knox freed. She returned to Seattle overwhelmed with emotion. But in 2013, yet another Italian court overturned that acquittal. And a year later, Knox was convicted of murder all over again. Italy's Supreme Court was her last hope. The five judges deliberated late into the night before ruling that Knox is innocent. And this time, it's Italy's final word. Meredith was my friend, and she deserved so much in this life. I'm, I'm still absorbing the present moment, which is full of joy. For Good Morning America, Neil Karlinski, ABC News, Seattle.